Hello, I'm Dave. This is the cave. Now, why is it called the Bat Cave? Well, because I'm a comic book geek and my favourite character is Batman. And also, it's a man cave, so why not call it Bat Cave? Makes sense when you think about it. Anyway, the whole idea of building this was so that the boys could come round, we could sing some Aldi tins, and we could watch some football. And uh, that's basically what we did. Uh, I built this in May, with help from family, and the first match I watched in here was the Europa Cup Final. Manchester United versus Villarreal. And as we all know, that one had a brilliant result. The next game I watched in here, not so much. That following Saturday, the Champions League final. Manchester City versus Chelsea. And as you can see, I'm a City fan. Now, I'm not that bothered about the Champions League because, well, I'm not going to go into that in this video. Maybe in another video. Just not a fan. Anyway, still, Man City, you want them to win. So, we all got together, watched that game, and well, not so great. But the real reason I built this was for the Euros. Uh, the idea, again, lads could come round, sing some Aldi tins, watch a lot of football. And that we did. Lots of tins got sank, lots of football got watched. For the most part, it was really enjoyable. Joe's Joe's little penalty test here, I think. But no one has scored more penalties for England than Harry Kane. <laughs> Good luck. No! No! Yeah! Come on! But for obviously the final, and again, we won't go into that. I love that man. The tears were shed, beers were drank, and we all moved on. So, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, and welcome to the cave. I wanted to make this video just as a bit of an introduction, not only to the cave and to myself, but to what we're going to be doing on this channel. And what we're going to be doing is talking about football, and predominantly, Man City. But we'll discuss all range of topics and not only this is an introduction to that but it's also a build up to what the next video is going to be. And the next video will be released this weekend and we're going to a football match and as it's an international weekend and there's no Premier League football it's not a Premier League game. It's a League One game and it's going to be Bolton versus Crewe and you're probably thinking, why is the City fan going to watch Bolton versus Crew? Well, that's what I'm going to tell you. And also, it's not the first time that we've been to Crew because a couple of months ago, the boys, myself, Dave, Dazzler, Bobo, Shane, Ghoul, Jordan, we all got the train and we went to watch Crew play. Now, again, why Crew? Random, I know. Well, it's a long story, and it's a story that I'm not going to tell. I'm going to let Dave tell. And when I say Dave, I don't mean me. I mean my son, the, the other Dave. Anyway, he'll tell you why we went to Crew. So Crew essentially came about, about um, a year before lockdown. So about two years ago, a couple of lads booked to go paintballing. And um, we left it in charge of Jordan, who you might see. Um, who isn't very good at booking things, he'll be the first person to say that, which is why I now book everything. And we wanted to go to Holmes Chapel paintballing, which is the, a good one that we've never been, but we wanted to try. And it's not far from Crew, and that's what our coordinates were. It's near Crew, so we put the postcode in. We're at McDonald's. We put the postcode in. It's not. It's literally ten minutes away. I was like, that's not right. So we. The joke came from that, and then the joke stemmed from we will go home chapel, and then lockdown hit, 
And then we kind of was like, instead of going home travel, fuck it, we'll go to a crew game. Crew, crew, crew. And it was all crew through lockdown and it kind of twin twindled away. And then basically about, about two months ago, one of the lads said, we'll do something at the weekend. And then I just said, that's the weekend we're going crew. We'll do it. And crew have just been adopted through a mere mistake as the second club of everyone. So, so there you have it. Crew it was. And it was a good day. Uh, a lot of good little pubs down there. We uh, had a lot to drink. We had some nice food. And we had a good football game. It uh, ended 2 all. Uh, crew were 2 0 up at half time and it threw it away, ended up 2 all, like I say. It was a good game, I was uh, I was surprised at the standard of football for League One. I've not seen football at that level for a long time, and yeah, it was good. But the best part about the day was during the build up to the game, Dave, who you've just seen, decided to do some research on the team, and he found out that Crew's goalkeeper was none other than. William Jaskalainen, son of Bolton legend, Juicy Jaskalainen, Juicy, you see, Juicy, however you say it, Jaskalainen. <clears throat> so, he took it upon himself to buy a Finland flag, and we took it to the game, and proceeded to stalk Jaskalainen for 90 minutes. Uh, so much so, that even the announcer at the stadium asked at half time, where he was from, waving his Finland flag around, and was a bit disappointed to find out he was from Manchester. Anyway, when the Cambridge keeper was at our end of the ground, Dave and Shane took it upon themselves to start the chant, you're just a shit, Jaskalainen, and the whole stand at that end of the pitch decided to join in, which was quite funny. And when they changed ends at half time and Jaskalainen was in front of us, they started the chant, there's only one Jaskalainen, which isn't accurate because as we've just said he's the son of anyway and again the whole stand joined in and we had a laugh but the best part about it came at the end of the game when this happened oh, yeah! 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 <laughs> as you can see those gloves are proudly displayed on the back cave wall behind me there match one William Jaskalain and Gloves. So, why are we going to Bolton versus Crew this weekend? Well, the idea was to get the boys around in the back cave and watch the England game. But, for one reason or another, we couldn't make it work. People had things to do and places to go and had work on Saturday and didn't want to be getting levered in the back cave. So that got cancelled. And then Dave messages me. The message read, Oh my God, Bolton playing crew on Friday and that was it I said I'll drive and me and Dave will go into crew now Shane's joining us and Daz is joining us so that will be the next video uh, we'll see what the ground's like see what the atmosphere's like and more importantly see what the food's like because when we went to crew the steak and ale pie wow that was amazing uh, top points for the steak and ale pie and they sold Bovel Bovel always a winner at football games uh, and the best thing was the napkin. The napkin was really good. So much so that Bubba kept his. So there you go. Just a quick introduction to the Batcave, to myself, to what we're going to be doing, and to the next video. Uh, you'll meet some of the boys in the next video as well. So if you've liked this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want. I don't know how this lot works. Do what you got to do. Or don't. It's up to you. Free to choose. But everybody's welcome here in the back cave, no matter who you support. Come along, have a beer. I'll see you in the next one. Second, actually, no. Not everybody's welcome in the back cave. If you've ever seriously said, oh, you might have had a Celtic, well, yeah, no. You go drink somewhere else. Everybody else, see you in the next one. Thank you.